Now it's been four years since we last visited this former Nickerson Farm location. A similar one up in uh, Temperance, Michigan, or Ottawa Lake, Michigan. This one's right off of I-70. in uh, Missouri and that orange roof is very very weathered they put barriers at the entrance so you can't really drive up in here but I mean they're pretty weak just wood barriers you can park right in front of them but uh no posted signs at all on the property but thought a few individuals would enjoy seeing this again it's a beautiful late afternoon a little bit warm about 90 but there's a light breeze now you can see there are the original stands up there for the uh, signage at the road the poles. And there's where the old uh, gas pumps would have been a long time ago. Maybe 40 years ago. Not a single remnant of any gas pump left. I took them out a long, long time ago. The one in uh, Michigan still does, of course, have the gas pumps. It used to be a marathon. Uh, at least the pumps. This was kind of like a restaurant travel stop before it kind of got obsolete. Now the crazy thing is, you can see there are boards that are facing the west and all that heat has peeled them back. What I'm saying is these just couldn't survive. These are kind of rural, these uh, locations and uh, the Love's Travel Stops, the Flying J's, the Pilots, all that really uh, put these out of business. And the design is unique, but not the most modern. Wow. So here's the side facing east. Look how dark and ominous it is that door is wide open can you imagine what it would look like inside i mean the uh bottom of that there could be wild dogs in there okay i'm being stupid there's probably no wild dogs but just uh another reason not to go in there i'm sure quite dark except those boards on that west side are open You got some holes in the roof. I don't know what caused that. This place is probably open, but look how exposed it is. Well, maybe not. It is pretty well secure. So we're gonna come right back into the sun. Sorry about that. I thought maybe that window was open there, but it looks like it's been reboarded from the inside. The back side of it now, where the refrigerators would have been. There's your large fan. Wow. You can smell the decaying wood from here. It's cool. Metal roof. Painted metal. Now I'm looking closer, I'm thinking, well, maybe that's wood. Is that wood? Ah, that is a... No, that is a metal roof. Yes.
I was talking earlier about why these kind of all went out of business because of so many other more modern facilities this couldn't keep up with. And I'm sure the maintenance costs on this, I mean, once it fell into disrepair, these just got way too costly to keep open and maintain. It must be, I know it's a very large, there's a bunch of like, there's like a restaurant in there. Just think of like a travel stop, but it's, it's very open. But I've never been inside one, so I guess I'm making that up. I don't really know what it's like inside. I'm sure there's some photos online. So that board there was virtually off the building. Is there a hole behind it? Uh, yes, there is a hole behind it. Well boarded up right there. And those doors are open. I had glass originally. You know, I guess we only live once. I'm considering poking the camera inside that window. But it's still, it's risky. A lot of wood here. And a lot of faded paint. And big footprint of a parking lot. But pretty cool, the guy has a storage unit across the street. Like, basically uh, train cars. Those K-line bins and uh, I'm blanking on the name of those. There's not like a real storage unit. <laughs> I just heard something move over there. You don't know what the hell could be inside there because they have access to fly in and then go out the other side. Ah, containers, that's what I'm looking for. Containers, like you see them ship like on uh, ocean liners. That's what the storage uh, unit's comprised of. So if I go over there to that window and put my camera in, I won't be able to see anything until after I edit the video. So there could be like dead bodies in there and whatever. Okay, not really, but until I pull the video and look at it, I won't know. But it's crazy how there's a pattern of some more fading than others across the roof. Now the odd thing is how that hole came in on the other side because it is indeed metal. And all this sun beating down on these boards. What a trip. Why well, I know what exit this is. I don't know what it is. It's pretty rural here. They have mowed this area but you know what we're gonna go do it we're gonna poke the camera in and then we're getting the hell out of here but it's august 2022 and uh i know i haven't made a video for a while i have lost the love for it i have a lot more coming up here in the next few days so we're gonna do like a sideways shot because Anyway, the window is open on the side. So, here we go. Here we go, guys. I don't even know if that caught anything. Oh yeah. This lighting sucks. That's very tough to see anything. I don't know, maybe you saw something, I'm sorry, but I'm not pulling the board off. I mean, that board could be pulled off pretty easy, but I'm not screwing around. It's gonna do it, appreciate you watching. Man, I, I wish I could see in there, I'm not gonna stick my head in there. I'm sure some people would like me to. Anyway, take care everybody. See you in the next few days with some more videos.